All right, everyone. I'm triumphantly entering the town of Kiserian, which is traditionally home to the Maasai. In fact, I'm told that Kiserian means the place of peace in Maasai. Well, I don't know why they decided to call it that way. Maybe the neighboring villages were quite chaotic. And I hope the town still carry its legacy of peace. We're going to explore that. Of course, we plan to go around the small town and see what's up. We also have some interesting statistics about the small town and Kajado County. Remember this town is in Kajado County and I'm going to give you some numbers in a few including the type of cooking fuel, the number of graduates and the number of homeless people in the entire county. And I'm sure these numbers will surprise many because most of you have some bias toward the Maasai. So stick around until the end and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Village to Town, a channel that is dedicated to continue showcasing beautiful villages, towns and cities across the continent. Well, it's a super big town. I never expected it to be this big. Remember, it's my first time here. And it seems like traffic jam is the order of the day. And also the town is super hot. I don't know whether it is always like this all the time. In fact, I'm sure you can see some reflection of the dashboard on the windscreen. It's super hot here in Kiserian, the town of peace. And to give you the right perspective of the town, Kiserian has a total population of 76,903 people. That is as of 2019, where 39,287 are women, that is 51.1%, while 37,612 are men, which is approximately 48.9% while in terms of the intersex, which is the third gender, as far as the Kenya Bureau of Statistics is concerned, they are only four in the town. Well, the town has one of the fastest growing populations in the country. I'm sure you wouldn't believe this, because 10 years ago, the town only had a population of 14,086 people, while 10 years later, the population has increased to 77,000. Well, the annual population change is 19% per year, which is quite high. In fact, this is the highest number I've seen around Nairobi. And this is somehow crazy considering that the neighboring town of Ngong, the population is decreasing. Well, of course, that's according to the statistics, not my views. In fact, we did a video last week on that. You can go and check it. It is on this channel. And remember this road comes all the way from Gong Town. There's another town between Kiserian and Gong that goes by the name Matasia, which is about three kilometers from here. And the road ends here. In fact, there's a junction ahead. I hope you can see it. And if you turn right, you will go to Ongatarungai, which is seven kilometers from here. And if you go left, which is my destination, you will go all the way to Magadi. And remember like Magadi, which is the biggest salt producer in the country, is not near. In fact, I'm told it's about 84 kilometers from here. Of course, I'm going to take you there someday. I'm sure there are nice Maasai villages there. Remember this channel is all about villages and towns. I'm sure it's going to be super interesting, especially if we spend some night in a Manyata which is the traditional Maasai house. But for today, let's explore Kiserian, the town of peace. And one thing that you should note is that the bigger part of Kiserian is in Kajado North, while some part is in Kajado West constituency. In fact, the boundary is a few meters from here. There's a river. I'm sure you're going to see it since I'll be getting there in a few seconds. Well, I don't know what comes into your mind when the name Kiserian or Ngong is mentioned, but for me, it's one legend, George Saitoti. 
the guy came from this area and I was one uh, he was a long serving vice president in the Republic of Kenya and also served as a member of parliament for Kajiado North which is this place I'm sure the old timers can recall him he was killed in a chopper crash uh, around 2012 I can't recall the exact date Anyway, for those who do not understand, I just turn around because I want to explore the town more. In fact, I want to get to the interior part of it as the town is quite big. In fact, I'm told that there are a number of slaughterhouses around. We want to explore that and a market. But I'll also be going back to the Magadi direction later. So stick around. And speaking of legends, there's another one that goes by the name John King. He was a member of parliament also for this area. I'm pretty sure most of old timers can also recall him. I can spot a bunch of beautiful Maasai women on my left. I hope you can see them. That is a pretty beautiful dress code. Of course, I'm going to tell you more about the community in a few but I'm looking for a road that will take me to the interior part of the town. And speaking of the Maasai, did you know that they are one of the most proud people in the world? Well, to start with, did you know that they don't wear second-hand clothes, commonly known as mitumba? Well, I know you didn't expect that, but have you ever seen a mutumba man selling Maasai shukas? Well, another thing that I'm sure you don't know about the Maasai is that they don't eat game meat. Remember they live among the gazelles, zebras, and giraffes, but they never consume those. I told you they are a proud people, so they only consume beef and goat meat. Well, I'm also reminded of another interesting fact about the Maasai. Did you know that they don't eat birds? That include chickens and their products such as eggs. Well, I'm sure my friends from the western part of the country cannot fathom that, but I told you they are proud people and are quite juicy, especially when it comes to eating. In fact, they don't eat the internal organs of any animal. Now that is, uh, we call them tripes or matumbo. Well, one of the slaughterhouses in the town is here. It is on my left. I hope you can see there's a lot of activities around here with most people wearing white dust coats. The slaughterhouse goes by the name Kikonyokie, that's a Maasai name. And of course my knowledge in Maasai language is limited, so I want my Maasai people to comment on the comment section below and tell us the real meaning. They can also confirm or deny the fact that they just don't eat any kind of meat. They are quite juicy. And remember, they are meat lovers. In fact, meat is their staple food. Remember I told you that we also have some interesting numbers on the Maasai, especially on their houses, uh, education level. And I'm sure this will take most of you by surprise. I'm going to give you those numbers in a few. And uh, remember, this is not a poor community, as most Kenyans perceive. You can imagine a single brother with a hundred of acres of land in Kajiado, a thousand cows and three thousand goats. The average price of a cow is 50k and that of a goat is give it 6,000. While a acre of land can go as low as 100k. Just do your maths and see how rich these guys can be.
Okay, everyone, we are going to the interior part of the town, well, the residential part of the town, and all we want to see is how the people live. And one thing I have noted about the rural part of Kisarian is that most people love the K-apple plant. Most fences are made of this. You can see this one on my right. And another thing I have noted is that the soil is the black cotton soil. And I hope you don't get it twisted, but Kisirian is not home for the Maasai currently. In fact, it is home for almost all the tribes in Kenya. In fact, everyone is represented here. But the majorities are Kikuyus, Kisis, and the Maasai. Well, I want to give you the numbers as I go back to the town center. In fact, I want to take you to the other side of the town as you go towards Ongata Rongai. So stick until the end. And remember Kisirian is in Kajado North constituency, which was once led by one George Saitoti, the late. And before him there was another one by the name John Keane. I'm sure the old timers can tell stories about them. While the current member of parliament goes by the name Ngogoyo, which is a Kikuyu name that translates to concentrated sweetness. Well, that's some fun facts right there. Such a fancy name. Well, the constituency has a total population of 306,596 people. That is as of 2019. And the government had estimated that the annual population change for the constituency is 4.7% per year. And so you can do your maths and estimate the current population Remember, we used the 2019 estimates in most of our videos because that was the last time the official general census was conducted. I'm told the next one will be in 2029. And so by then we'll get some fresh numbers. But the best thing we can do now is just to estimate based on the 2019 numbers. Okay, we go on regardless. And the population density for the entire constituency 
is 2,772 people living in a square kilometer, while the average gender distribution rate is 50.9% are women, while 49.1% are men. In terms of the intersex, there are only 13 in the entire constituency, which is just a small percentage. And remember the population in the constituency was not as high as now, back then. In fact, in 2009, the number was only 193,386. And you can compare with the current number, which is 306,000. Which is an increase of around 110,000 in 10 years. Which is around 4.7% per year. Well, those are the numbers about the Kajado North constituency. Now, I want to take you to Kajado County. And remember, Kiserian is one of the biggest town in the county. The county is quite big in terms of the land mass. In fact, it neighbors Kiambu, Nairobi, Machakos, uh, Makueni, and Taitataveta to the south, and also share a long border with Tanzania. And remember, Kajedo is one of the two counties that have a Maasai majority. And so it is traditionally home to the Maasai community. The other one is Narok. And I want to give you numbers. And in those numbers, we are going to compare the two counties. And remember, the two have almost equal population, with Narok having a slight majority. And I want to kickstart the numbers with the school attendance statistics. And out of the 1.1 million people living in Kajiado, 389,000 are at school, while 319,000 left school after completion. Now, this is where it gets interesting. 111,000 left school before completion. That's about 10% of the total population. While 182,000 have never been to school. Well, for Narok, the number is slightly high, as the number is estimated at 283,000. Those are the people who have never seen the four walls of a classroom. While the most interesting part is that 13,146 people stated that they don't even know whether they have been to school. Well, that's not Mr. Lone Traveler's opinion. It's according to the Kenyan Bureau of Statistics. Another piece of statistics that I want to look regarding the county is on the type of cooking fuel. And out of the 313,000 conventional households living in Kajiado, only 1.2% uses electricity to cook, while the percentage in Kajiado North is slightly lower, as it is estimated as 0.9%. Well, 12.7% uses paraffin to cook, well, 47.2% uses gas or LPG, which is quite high, especially when compared to the neighboring county of Narok, which is at 21.2%. And in fact, the number is quite high in some areas here in Kajado, such as Kajado North, where we are, as 72.6% of the residents uses LPG gas to cook. Well, 29% uses firewood, while well, 9.1% uses charcoal and 0.2% uses solar. Another piece of statistics that I found to be quite interesting is the number of the people living on the streets or those sleeping outside. I think the easiest term to use is homeless. And according to the Kenyan Bureau of Statistics, 20,101 people are homeless in the country. And out of those 17,747 are men, while only 2,348 are women. I think the gender gap is crazy. I don't know the reason, but you can tell us on the comment section down below. But out of the 20,000 homeless people in the country, 637 are in Kajiado, where 583 are men and only 54 are women. Funny enough, there are counties with zero homeless people, such as Isiolo, while the rural counties such as the Elgeo Marakwet has slightly lower. In fact, 
Algeo Marakwet has 19 homeless people where 18 are men and only one is a woman. It is also good to know that a good number of people here are homeowners. Houses to let are also available. In fact, I saw a good number of standalone houses, all three bedrooms, going for that 5,000 Kenya shillings. That is per month. Well, let me leave it at that. Please make sure you watch the scenic video until the end. And if you have watched the video this far, it means you somehow like what we are doing. And so kindly give us that subscription. And also make sure you like the video so that it can be recommended to as many people as possible. Also smash the notification bell so that every time we post, you'll be among the first few people to be notified. Also keep the conversation going. Tell us what do you think about Kiserian. Would you consider living here? And also if you come from this area, leave a fact or two about your hood on the comment section down below and we'll appreciate also, special thanks to Team Village to Town TV, those who watch every video and like them. We appreciate your continued support. Thank you. <music>